Hey guys, what's up? This is Jean. Let's learn how to ask permission for the user for app tracking. So, let's learn the right way. Let's get started. If you go to Google documentation on how to add Firebase to your application, and you want to ask the user for permission to track on iOS devices, um, Google documentation um, asks you to put this uh, function call at this application function. And uh, that's not enough because if you do just this, um, Firebase will start um, collecting user data before the user consent and Apple will uh, not allow your application to be on App Store. So, in order to do this the right way, you do the following. You go to your Xcode and you do inside the application a function, you do as Google says, you put firebase.configure, but also you go to your info.plist file and then you make sure you add this key Firebase Analytics Collection enabled and the value is false. This with this key. Firebase will not collect any data by default. So, we are not collecting data before user permission. And then, go back to your uh, Swift file. And then, you search for your, for the um, application did become available function. And inside this function, you invoke a function to request um, tracking permission. And here, this function is the one I created myself. Let's see how it works. This is the code for my function. Uh, first, I check if um, the tracking request permission is available because it's only available on iOS 15 or so. So, first you check if it is available, available, then you check for your request tracking authorization for the user, then you check the status the user chose, and then if the user authorized, then you ask Firebase to set to enable collection. And now you are setting Firebase to collect data after the user has authorized it. If this is not available on your iOS device, and then by default, you can set uh, Firebase to collect data. And that's it. If this video helps you, please give it this thumbs up. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you.